have to have an understanding, right? You know, that's, I think that's where it comes in as a player. He's played in this league. He's been to the finals. He's won championships. And so, um, you know, he, he understands what it takes, and he understands the pitfalls that comes with it. So we're going to see flawless Warriors basketball. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Sean, forgive me if you've uh, answered this already, what LeBron has done in these playoffs. So what's the Warriors' take on that? Have you had any time at all to see what he's been doing on the court? Yeah, I mean, we watched the game, so we definitely, you know, see that he's had his, you know, his handprints all over the game. And, uh, you know, it's pretty incredible the physical exertion that he's put into it. I think that's, to me, you know, it's been pretty amazing. How do you slow him down? Uh, it takes a team effort, you know, it takes a team effort. It's not just one guy, you know, we, we all have to be dialed in and locked in. What are your defensive responsibilities now with the Andre out and the different types of team, obviously? Similar to what it's been, um, you know, just being aggressive, being aggressive. Coach always says, you know, I'm best when I'm being aggressive. So that means defensively being up in the guys, switching, right, using my length, using, you know, physical attributes to, to help the team. And, and then on the offense end, just making sure that we're, we're settled, settled in. How much have you guarded LeBron in the past? Um, a little bit. Yeah, probably. Gu guarded him some. Um, mostly on switches, not really like a one-on-one -on -one matchup where I have him the whole game. But um, his his biggest, you know, I, I want to say one of his biggest attributes is his IQ. You know, understanding the game, understanding you know what the team needs at that time, and. So you can't fall asleep, you know. He's he's a smart, smart basketball player. Uh, a lot of experience, and he plays the game as a point guard, right? And that's how he controls the game. So you have to be, you know, you have to be on point at all times, uh, or you'll pay. Sean, speaking of IQ, Draymond, people say Draymond has a very high basketball IQ. Yes. Can you give us an example of that? Sense? Yes, just uh, defensively being able to anchor the defense. Um, you know, seeing what's going to happen, the play before it happens, you know, and then being able to make the read. Um, you know, you, you cover ground. Guys like him, guys like Andre, you know, you're able to have more margin for error because, you know, they can make a play that not too many guys can make, you know, guarding two guys at one time, you know, stopping a fast break, stopping a two-on-one. Not, not too many guys can do that, especially at this level that we're in right now. This is the first time in American sports where the team has met in the championship four straight years. Can you talk about being a part of history like that? No, it's, 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 it's incredible. I mean, I'm, again, I'm grateful. I'm always grateful to be here, be in this position, have an opportunity to win a championship. It's, you know, uh, the best career move that I made. <laughs> What's it like to be a part of something historic? Yeah, again, um, best career move I made coming to the Warriors, man. You know, um, to be a part of history, you know, something that I can look back and show my grandkids about one day. Sean, the time in Cleveland was it was a pivotal turning point, don't you think, for your career to prove to people that you could still get it done? Yeah, that year definitely. Um, you know, I think that was that was probably the healthiest that I had been. I had put the most work into my body that year, 2012-13. Uh, you know, really um, turning the corner. You know, the way that I felt physically, the type of athleticism that I think I still had left. I was able to show teams, so that was a great opportunity for me. Sean, any, thanks, Sean. any moment yeah. in the last three years have you sensed 